Hey, my name is Dallin Baugh. I'm with uh, Adatel Corporation. I'm out here today doing some training for uh, Fortronics. And they asked me to put together a little video uh, of some of the training I was doing for them. So what I want to talk today about, a little bit about, is uh, magnet leak pressure gauges, differential pressure gauges. There are literally tens of thousands of these out there in the industry. They're low pressure um, differential gauges. And they're very difficult to calibrate because of the extreme low pressure that you're working at. And um, so we've got this little kit put together. This is an Adatel ADT912-N. This is a vacuum to 60 PSI pump, and it has this really fine adjust for low pressure, differential pressure cal. I'm gonna show it to you here today. And then I have a, a Adatel uh, differential pressure gauge. We're gonna use this as our reference standard uh, to compare to the magnetic pressure gauge. And so, basically, um, these are di very difficult because it's very hard to get it stable. So how I'm going to start with this is I'm going to tie the low end of the reference and the unit under test. I'm going to tie the low end together. So I'm going to go into the low end side of the magnet helix here. And by the way, magnet helix need to be calibrated in the upright position. That's why I have this little uh, Pac-Man looking tool here. Um, and we actually make that and include it with this kit. So I'm going to put that on the low side of the magnet helix and I'm going to tie it into the low side of the reference gauge. So those two low sides are now tied together. Lots of times customers will leave the, the low side open uh, when they're doing a magnet helix pressure gauge. But the problem with that is that uh, leaving it open will fluctuate with changes in barometric pressure. And so since it's such small changes, that, that can be a large, a significant error. So I've tied the low sides together. Now I'm going to hook the high sides up to the pump. First the reference. One of the really nice things about Adatel pumps are these quick disconnectors. I don't need to use tape, I don't need to use wrenches. I just put it in finger tight and screw it down. Lots of customers, when I see them use these, they will really like to clamp down on this and screw it in tight and you know, smash down the rubber o-ring and you get a shorter lifespan of the rubber o-ring. You can do that if you just put these in finger tight, that's plenty good. All right, so now I'm gonna tie that to the high side of the reference gauge. One thing I failed to mention is that I want to zero my reference gauge before I plug in all this tubing because since I'm talking such low pressures, even plugging in this tubing is going to generate some pressure and so once I get it set up, if I zero it, I'm actually going to be introducing an error. So I zero my reference gauge before I plug everything in. So now I've got that all put together. I've got my reference gauge turned on and I'm ready to start generating some pressure. So let's let's do two inches of water here to start out with. Now those of you who have done low pressure um, calibrations, differential pressure calibrations, you know that controlling past the first digit of, I'm, I'm going to be reading in, eight, in inches of water at four degrees C, you know that uh, even the first digit is very hard to control. Anyone opens the door, the air conditioner, you touch the unit, uh, it's all over the place. So very difficult calibration to do. What I'm going to show you here today is I'm going to generate two inches of water and I'm going to control the third digit, the thousandth uh, on this unit. So let's just close my vent here. I'm going to use my pump to start with. And I'm going to give it up close to two inches of water. Looks like I went a little bit over. Here's my reference. I'm at two point. 076. All right, so I'm going to dial in the third digit. So I've got 2.003, and I'm going to use my fine adjust here 002, 001, 2.000. That is remarkable. This makes it calibration of these magnet helix gauges very, very easy and um, solves a lot of problems. So it's a solution that's just a little over $3,000 compared to you know, spending tens of thousands of dollars normally to get this type of stability in the calibration. For more info on Adatel products, click on the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching another video by Test Equipment Depot.